Hello and welcome. I am Balam Abbas from YesIT.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Qt Linux in VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and launch VirtualBox. Now, before launching that, you have to download and install VirtualBox from uh, Oracle Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. You have to download this from its uh, Oracle website. So it's for free. It's an open source for you. So for the first time, what you need is to create a new virtual machine for us, and that is how to create. Click New. And then try here Cube Linux and it will automatically select the Linux and the Ubuntu version. So here it can also select the so don't worry. And now click next for the RAM. I'll go ahead and try here to 48. Uh, so it should be installed so quickly and then click next. Then create a new virtual disk now and then HDI next dynamic allocated size. And uh, HD that's fine, location also that's fine, and then you have to create create. So click the start to start the visual box. So now here we are on the installation page. What you need is to insert the ISO. Uh, you have to download the ISO also from the Cube Linux website. It is also in open source. Remember, Cube Linux it is being combined from Linux and Chromium. So select it and click start to start the installation process. For now, I'm going to select is to view in full screen mode. So so it should be look a little bit better than thing look so it more. So now here we are in the installation page of Kubernetes. Now here we have two options. The first one that is about we, we can try the Kubernetes without installation, and then the second one that is install Kubernetes. So since the tutorial is how to install Kubernetes, I'm going to select the install Kubernetes. Remember that there is a second way also to install Kubernetes on VMware or your PC. So in today's tutorial, I will show you how to install that one here. But for the next tutorial, I will show you how to install that one in the second method. So for now, click install Kube. So here in this window, you have to you are welcome to the preparing to install Cube Linux. So check the download objects and then install this the third party software. Now uh, remember, uh, if you should not check anything again, it will work. But uh, in order uh, in order to uh, in order to be working perfectly with Cube Linux, you have to check it. So we continue to go further. So now here we are on the installation type. Here we have only four options for us. Then the, the, the first one that is about erase disk and install cube. It will erase the complete disk and it will install it on the drive. And then there is also encrypt the uh, new cube installation for the security. Uh, security options it will give a password for your for the security options. And then there is also USB um, LVM with the cube Linux installation. It uh, with the logical uh, volume management. It, it will install the Cube Linux for you, and then the last one that is about something else. Now you can this part is for the Windows. Uh, for according to me, although it's for the Windows, if you want to try dual boot your PC, for example, you want to uh, try uh, Windows, and with that you are uh, you are also want to install Cube Linux. So that time you can select uh, something else, and after that you will select your drive which you have selected for the Cube Linux. So for now I'm going to select the OS disk and install Cube. Linux. So install now. And now here it, will, it will ask me to confirm the uh, rights or the changes for the raising all the data. I'm going to select continue. And now here we are on the where are you? I am since I am from Pakistan. I will go ahead and type here Punjab because I am from Quetta. Q U not from the Karachi and then click continue. Now remember when you are installing this part, uh, this Cube Linux on the VMware, this part of continue will not be shown in uh, virtual box, it will show for you completely. And now you have to select your keyboard layout, you can detail your keyboard layout. Oh, well, I'm not going to select, I know that's English, so click continue. Here you have to insert that who are you. I mean, saying that I am Olamapas. Um, and then my pass that is I have to insert the phone 
we enter that so let me actually make it a little bit strong now working automatically that's a good thing so click continue and now welcome to the cube linux installation page now this part will take so much time for me uh, so I'll go ahead and speed up the click so much for you. It should be installed at least in 10 or 15 or 20 seconds. After that, when it's installed, you will be directly to the Cube Linux window. So now if we are on the installation page uh, which is saying that the installation is complete so what we need is to install the computer so click to start now And now here we are. What I need is to insert the new password which I have entered. And here I am in the login screen of Linux. <laughs> So now here I am in the Kubernetes screen. Now I can do I can put changes here for all the things. For example, I can change wallpaper and let me actually choose the best wallpaper for my screen. So it was all about how to install Kubernetes in VirtualBox. Now the same thing you can install it on the end there. I hope you have learned this lesson. If you have any question, I am here. If you like this video, please like my channel. Until next time, goodbye.